According to Hayes and Erford, 2018, the population of multiracial Americans is rapidly growing. Uh, kind of makes sense. Uh, we were all taught in grade school that America is the great melting pot, uh, despite the fact that interracial marriage was still illegal in several states until the Loving versus Virginia decision of 1967. Uh, most commonly, multiracial individuals select white as a part of their racial heritage. Uh, multiracial individuals may not appear to physically match the descriptions that other people place on their chosen uh, racial identity, which can lead to social conflicts and exclusion and make them feel like an outsider and need to actively seek a community. Um, they are often pressured into choosing one racial group over the others to sort of compound that emotional and uh, social difficulty. According to McDonald and Chang, 2022, being multiracial is really complex, so counselors need to adapt a stance that is both affirmative and culturally responsive which may require using decolonizing language and adopting to the language of the client. Uh, the barriers and individual needs of the client will also be very complex and unique to the client and the way that they identify with their diverse racial heritage and also the amount of acculturation and enculturation they have with their identified group and the dominant hegemony. Counselors should fossil racial pride, which is a protective factor in most racial clients. Um, based on this, I think that narrative therapy would be at least a great place to start uh, that basically allows the client to tell their story and define um, what their race and what their racial makeup means to them and what it means for their life. Um, also allows them to give us language that we can use when we discuss these issues with them and broaching subjects uh, that may impact the counseling alliance for the best possible outcomes so basically what are the issues the client may facing it's gonna really depend on the client what are the barriers that that client may be facing to coming into counseling it's gonna really depend on that client uh, it's gonna take a very very specific knowledge about what groups are in your area how and in what ways those groups may be facing pressure before we can really determine how we can best help them so yeah it's not going to be a really nice uh, one-size-fits-all generality uh, when it comes to multiracial clients, and it's going to really differ uh, depending on the area you're in and even on a client-by-client -client basis. But what do you guys think?